Hi everyone, it's Phil from Logs Weekends and welcome back to our channel. Well, it's not long now before we uh, pick up our caravan and we have been sorting out all the equipment that we're going to need to put into our new van. And as you can see here, we've got quite a lot uh, stored away. One thing we did uh, notice uh, was um, when you're setting up a new van there's quite a lot of things to think about. So today we're going to cover 10 things you may not consider when setting up a new caravan. We have electric toothbrushes which is not always practical to take the charges for them so we went out and bought two brushes for both myself, Phil and one for Alfie so we don't forget his either. Foldable crates, um, take everything into the van with you, put them in the car and when you finish with them you can collapse them and put them away either in the car or under the bed. This might seem obvious, but the amount of times we have gone away in the past either camping or in statics and we've had no can opener, no, especially no corkscrew and had to use a knife to cork to get into a bottle of wine or not been able to cut anything open because we haven't got a pair of scissors and I'll get a little pair of nail scissors. So this time we went out and purchased a decent corkscrew, pair of scissors and a can opener that should be able to open all cans. Well, hangers. Unlike when you go to an apartment or a static caravan, there will be no hangers in the wardrobe unless you put some in there. Now, you can just get the supermarket plastic ones. However, I got these velvet touch ones because when you put your clothes on, they're not always sliding off and dropping at the bottom of your wardrobe. A laundry bag to put all your dirty washing and if you need to go and take it to be washed. The great thing about this one, it's got two compartments, one for the darks and one for the whites and it's even got it wrote on it. Again, you might think it's an obvious one, you need an oven tray. However, the first one I bought was too big so we had to go and measure the caravan oven and go and find one that would actually fit inside. Maybe a bit obvious to some and then not to others. The oven gloves. Been away how many times have you gone to use a dishcloth or a tea towel and risk burning yourself? The tea towels, do you run around your house, grab a few before you go, perhaps next time you go, forget them. So probably best practice is to have just the caravan straight away and that's all they're for. My mum got these psychedelic ones for us in Tenerife swimwear and swim towels we have seen on twitter or on youtube channels that people have forgot their swimwear and had to go out at great expense to buy them so we thought the best practice would be to buy them and just have these for the van top tip i saw on twitter this year was get all your toiletries at the beginning of the season it's an expensive thing to run around your house forget things and have to go out to the local shops and purchase them. Having watched other people forget the bathroom towels, we decided to just buy some specifically for the caravan because it's a very big expense if you forget your towels and have to dash out and buy some. So that was 10 things that we thought were quite uh, important and you may consider when setting up a caravan. Now, I'm sure there's other things that everybody else could choose. And if you want to add them to the comments, please do. Uh, we do reply to comments. Now, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the picture. If you uh, would like to watch some more of our videos, click on the link below. Or if you've already subscribed, thank you. And can you hit the bell button and you will be given regular updates from our channel. Well, thank you very much. And until next time, goodbye.